I hate this camera. Hi guys. Man, I, I'm, I'm so bummed. I just gave the most impassioned yapping of, of my life. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know if I need to um, restart the whole video. I think you guys can hear me now. Yeah, what a knucklehead. Okay, so check it out. I gotta do that all over again. What will happen is on the re-upload of this, Tom is going to cut out the part where I was talking to myself, essentially. Yeah, not too bright. Tom's got a whole up for me, guys, and I forgot that you have to turn the microphone to on. So I'm a little ashamed. But would you like to hear what I was talking about? Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about what the Camp Cannon live show is going to be about. Uh, we're going to try and follow a format. And basically, um, you know, I'll get to your questions in a second, but at the top of the show, I'm just going to go on a little bit of a rant and then we'll get to uh, the meat and potatoes of the live show, whether that be something happening here, um, something happening with a reptile friend of mine, be it reptile or human. Uh, so we're going to try and cover a lot of topics that show up um, throughout the weeks to come. And I want to get more focused on these live shows. So now that you can all hear me, um, I can kind of tell you and go over what I was talking about just a little while ago. So, there were so many passionate comments about last week's collaboration and videos with Logan Paul. You either like the guy or you hate him, and I get it. Believe me, I get it. I don't watch the guy. But you got to remember, he's 22 years old. Uh, that's his style. All I can say is, for me, the gentleman or the guy that I met off camera... Uh, was a bit more subdued, listened, has been texting me about the animal. I want you all to know that I wouldn't put an animal in a bad situation. Uh, that pond is going to be amazing. The pond is also going to uh, get a muddy bottom as sediment gets into it and gets a little bit more muddy. People are all worried about it. There's a rocky bottom. Guys, we know what we're doing. Uh, Logan has someone taking care of the animals and everything's going to be fine. Now, whether you like his style or not, that's on you and I get it. Uh, it's not something I'd watch, but the way I look at going on that channel was similar to like when Steve Irwin would go on The Tonight Show or The Late Show. It's basically a way for a guy like me to reach a different audience, one that doesn't necessarily know anything about reptiles. Um, so when you're going out like that or when I was going out like that, I was looking at it from that perspective. Uh, basically, I know a lot of you guys were passionate. You hate his guts. Uh, you're angry with me, some of you, and I get that, and I was prepared for that, and I welcome that kind of uh, conversation. Uh, there are definitely things that I agree with a lot of you. Um, you know, I'm trying to maintain a more family-friendly um, uh, vibe here in the channel. Um, you know, that being said, sometimes things slip through the cracks, and I guess Logan humping the ground isn't exactly uh, what a 22-year-old should be doing. He's a little nuts. Uh, but I want you to know, just from me to you, the animal is being looked after. Um, I personally had a good time with Logan. I think he's a, a nice guy. Uh, he's been very interactive with me, making sure that the animal's uh, being taken care of properly. Um, and so there's that. Uh, secondly, though, what I really want to talk to you about, what I really, really want to impress upon a lot of you that have been so passionate about, you know, your dislike uh, for that video is can I ask for that same passion in trying to share our videos uh, helping Camp Kennan reach uh, I have a goal I want to I want to cross 200,000 subs by uh, I mean Tom's thinks February I don't know that that seems lofty but by the end of February if you guys the Camp Kennan army those of you who appreciate the kind of content we're giving out there it's not salacious, it's not clickbait, it's basically information and the love of animals and reptiles. We need your help because if this channel doesn't continue to grow, we're not going to be able to continue to make videos. So if you guys can get really supportive and help us out, get us up over 200,000, then we know we can get to 250, 300,000. I want to see that same level of passion that you guys had uh, that was galvanized and fueled by your dislike of the collaboration with Logan Paul. Well. Help me not to have to collaborate so much. And I promise though, guys, honestly, um, you know, we are gonna look at collaborations in a different way and make sure that the people we collaborate with do their 
our core values. So that's something we learned about this. Um, it was a very interesting uh, experience and we look forward to more and there will be more and hopefully you'll like some of the people that we are hanging out with in the future. Okay, so now that that's been said, also want to now give a shout out to all those of you who have been heading on over to the Camp Kennan Army channel. It is awesome, man. We are so stoked on that. If you haven't subscribed, please go over to the Camp Kennan Army channel. It's a place where all of us can upload your videos. You can share with me and the rest of the, the subscribers here on this channel videos that you have of your animals little tidbits of information you want to give. I want to foster the next generation of animal lovers, uh, the next generation of uh, natural history presenters. Uh, I'd love for someone to come out of this to take the reins from me when I'm done making videos and I kick the bucket, uh, which hopefully will be a long time coming. But that's what we want to do. I want to shout out David Ortega, young guy, putting up some great videos on the channel. We appreciate it, man. I really see great things for this guy. He's passionate, he loves to show his animals, and he's doing things the best possible way he can for his animals. So, big thumbs up to Mr. Ortega out there in California. So rad. All right, so now that the uh, good old camera and the microphone is working, uh, I'm gonna get to some questions. I know they've been flying up. I'm gonna pull you guys on off my little stand so we can go moving around. What's up, Christopher Suffer? Yeah, he is a great kid. Uh, glad to be mo mobile. Uh, hello, Jay De La Cruz Alfonso. I got a few things we're gonna talk about today. I thought we'd start in indoors and we'll give you an update. Uh, we'll go ahead and give an update uh, as to what's happening in the incubator. So every week, as long as something's hatching, we're gonna be visiting. Uh, let's check it out. We'll start in here and then we'll move outside and I'll show you what's going on. What's up, cool herping? But check this out, people. I'm pretty pumped because we've got more little leopards starting to hatch out. Uh, we got this little guy, and this is gonna be another higher white one. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So this little dude's doing his thing, man. How rad is that? The little guy's coming on out, pretty pumped. So I'm excited to see more of these guys hatching. Um, there is already, one has already got a down payment and has been sold. Here's one that came out that I'll be giving a soak soon. He's still not quite ready to come completely out of the incubator, but here's another little leopard. How rad is that? So this is as it's happening, my friends. Uh, little leopard tortoises are hatching out. So very, very cool. Ah, Rosando Penavar asks, any radiana cooking? Interesting, well, stick around. We may, uh, we may do something fun here in a minute involving radiated tortoises. Uh, but first, let's go outside and let's make sure I do as promised in the title. Here we do an update on the uh, good old cherry head turtle. Oh, I'm hitting things. There's my, see my lighting up there. Uh, let's see. Uh, the cherry head tortoise that was having some problems. What's up, Caddy711? Hello in Poland. Uh, Cat Chaos is getting a Russian tortoise beginning of next year. Congratulations. Great little tortoise species. But let's go and hang out and see what's going on with the tortoise who had the hurt penis. Look at this, everybody. We have success. He's been retracted. Um, and I have to shout out to my girlfriend, Kate, because while I was in California, Kate really kicked butt. She is not necessarily an animal person, but she took care of this little guy and he's been looking much, much better. He's been pulling it in. I still put the Silvadine cream in there just to make sure there's no infection. Uh, she soaked him. She put cream on his little bottom here. It's super rad. She's a great gal. I'm so glad she did that. And you can see he's bright eyed. He's doing much, much better, and I'm excited about that. So I think what happened, uh, Moonstone Wolf, I think what had happened was he was breeding and maybe got knocked off and sprained his penis uh, to where he couldn't retract it. And what happens is it dries out because it's supposed to be on the inside of their body. Um, so it dried out, got scabbed up from being dragged around on the ground, and uh, that must have not been very pleasant a feeling. So he's looking a lot better. Uh, very, very cool. I'm so stoked that he did, that she helped me out, that, that he's doing better, because sometimes, guys, it can be very difficult to get animals uh, to heal, certainly tortoises, uh, but this guy is doing good, and I, like I said, I soaked him in sugar water. 
Uh, that definitely helped. And then I applied, uh, well, first I soaked them in betadine, okay? Uh, diluted betadine in lukewarm water, let them soak for a little while. And that loosened up any of the scabbing. And then we would have to pull the scabbing. And GL777, no. There was no parasites in the poop. I looked on my uh, microscope. Uh, you look for anything swimming around in there. Uh, and if you see a lot of things swimming around in there, then you know you have a parasite infection. You will see, you know, different levels uh, in, in the severity of the infection. Almost all of us have some kind of parasite load in our bodies. Um, so anyway, I noticed that he was like that because his penis was out. It's supposed to be inside the cloaca, but it was just hanging out. Uh, and so what I did was just, you know, put that Sylvadine cream on him, cleaned him every day, and Kate kept it up. So I'm super pumped. It was awesome. So my guess is this wasn't a parasite problem. This was an injury to the actual organ, and that's what kept him, uh, well, kind of hanging low. So there you have it. Uh, pretty rad. Uh, well, Ooga Booga, we're talking about what the title is, man. You got to go back and watch the other bonus video I did about this tortoise. Uh, and he should be able to breed, Jacob. He should definitely be able to breed. We're going to give him a long time to recuperate. I'm not going to put him back in in the colony for a few months just to make sure that, you know, he's actually dialed in because we wouldn't want him to get frisky too soon and re-injure himself. All right? So that's what's going on with him. Super pumped, stoked, uh, and he is waving. Uh, don't feel bad for him, Ooga Booga. He's doing much better. Uh, very cool. Hello from Amsterdam. All right, what's up, Rishi? Nice to say hello to you. Uh, recommend uh, for beginner turtles would definitely be cherry heads, red foots, Greek tortoises, Russian tortoises. Those are the ones that I like. Uh, yeah, um, rain shell, they do the booty dance when you scratch their shells, they can feel. I've actually had tortoises that I've seen scratching their butts on um, some of the, some of the uh, cactus that I used to have in some enclosures. So they actually like that. They feel, they'll scratch, uh, they'll dance. So it's kind of a funny little thing that happens. Uh, Andreas, hello from Cyprus. Hello from South Florida. Uh, Ooga Booga, I do have lizards. Um, go back and check out some of the videos. We won't get to them today. In fact, though, I do have lizards. Uh, I'll might as well show you how the good old, um, show you how the rhino babies are doing. Here they are. Here's one right there. There's a little rhino baby, and he's growing and shedding and doing his thing, so I'm pretty excited. Hey, buddy. How you doing? There's a little rhino, Iggy. Maybe I can get on in there, and we can get a little bit of a closer view to this guy. I think you'll dig that. Can you guys see him? Can you see? Let me see. I, I have you on the front-facing camera. There he is. He's right there. So there's my little rhino. Uh, there's another one hiding under the palm fronds. But uh, he's doing good, so I'm pretty excited about that. So these guys are uh, growing and eating and just enjoying some outdoor time since it's been very, very cold the last few days. I'm still going to go around after the video today, and we're going to go ahead and get these guys in for the evening. So there, there are some lizards. I have the adult rhino iguanas. I have some monitors. Uh, but you folks, a lot of you folks know that. So what else do we got? Wesley Chapel. Hey, Nancy Brookes. Wesley Chapel, that's in Florida. All right, awesome. We're going to kind of wander on over here. And I'm going to bring us to our next topic. We're hitting a couple of topics today, and I, I'm stoked on this. It just so happens that some weeks are better than others. Sometimes there's more things happening at the camp uh, than other weeks, okay? So here we go. Let's see what we got down here. What do you think, people? We're inside the radiated tortoise enclosure. But I think, I think we might be lucky because I saw a female digging here earlier and we should see if she in fact has any eggs. So I'm gonna go put you guys down right there. Uh, this way I can kind of hang out and dig and hang and just, you know, do my thing, uh, do my thing with you guys. So let's see, uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna gently pull this away and you can see the telltale signs right there. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, we'll be doing some with Crocodile Kyle soon. He's been so busy getting his new business going and getting his new house going. So Kyle, I talk to him all the time. He's just been super busy. So we will get a new Crocodile Kyle video. You don't worry about that. Kyle's going to have a lot of cool stuff coming up soon, and we'll be there to bring it to you. All right, everybody. So I'm pretty pumped. We got our first radiated tortoise egg. All right, there's a little radiated tortoise egg. Let's see how many she laid. She was an, a medium-sized gal. 
So she's not the biggest, but I'll be happy with whatever she gives us here. There's two. I feel, I feel some others. So this is awesome, everybody. How cool is this, huh? So you're seeing live oh, what I do all the time. All right, hi, Info. Uh, all right, watch the Triceratops pop out. Nah, no Triceratops. Strachiosaurus. All right, that's it. Four eggs, everybody. So four eggs out of these out of these beauties, and they were just laid today, so we don't have to worry about rotating them. Uh, it takes a little while for these eggs to uh, develop. And the other crazy thing about the good old radiated tortoise eggs is a lot of times you need to do what's called diapause. A diapause is a kind of suspended animation or a pause in the development or the incubation of the egg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these eggs off. You can come with me and do that. And what we'll do is um, I'm going to go through the whole process and put them in the incubator. And then you'll see uh, how that works. Um, hi, Shannon. There you go. I just said what you wanted me to. All right, let's see. I got to put you down, guys. This is kind of a, um, you know, rolling with it show, okay? So we're going to move these glasses. I got to get a little paper towel to put the eggs on. Uh, hopefully the lighting isn't so horrible for everyone. Let's do that. Uh, maybe I can answer some questions as I wash. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, someone's in Brookhaven, Carter Lusk. I remember Brookhaven. That's out in Suffolk County, Long Island. And that's the same Brookhaven we're talking about. So I like to just give these guys a little bit of a, a wash. You know what I'm saying? Then I'll place one there, move to the next one. Uh, you know, it's not necessary to wash them, but I'm just doing it uh, because I want to make sure that I don't bring anything into the incubator and so on. I'm trying to read, but those, the words are small. What do I think of sea turtles, shimmering fox claw? I love sea turtles. We're gonna do a cool video with my buddy Larry Wood. Larry Wood is a marine biologist and he studies hawksbill turtles. And we were, are gonna be doing some dives with him coming up as well. So there's a lot to happen. All right, cool. So let's rinse them all off. Now I'm gonna wash my hands like so. Let me dry off. How cool is this? You guys are getting to see it all happen. And so we'll put these guys in here and we'll go back on over into the incubator room. Now, with diapause, everyone, with diapause, um, what I am actually gonna do uh, is put these guys in the incubator and then I'm gonna pull them out and I'm gonna let them cool off for a little while, after about a month. Let them cool off for a month, then I'm gonna start incubating them again. And that break, in the uh, incubation will start some real development happening with these eggs. So what I like to do is I like to write down, I like to write down the, what I do is I put in lead pencil, I just put an R for radiated and today's date, which is, um, oh man, what's today's date? Da -da -da -da. I think it's the, uh, when does Star Wars come out? Tonight? Hmm. Hmm, tell me the date, somebody, because you know my phone has the date and I'm using it. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel Burke. It's the 14th. Uh, yeah, I don't really pay attention to dates sometimes. I'm pretty horrible like that. All right, 12, 14, 12, 14, and these are radiated eggs. How exciting. Radiata, 12, 14. All right, very cool. So now I'm going to go over to the incubator and I'm gonna go grab where they're going. I got, a, I got one all prepared for them. Oh, good thing I checked in here. I didn't put the cover back on the leopard tortoises. So these guys are gonna go in this container right here. All right, now that I got them marked. Yeah, it does. Pamela, come on. Star Wars comes out in preview tonight, Thursday night. Everyone knows that. You can go see shows at 7 o'clock. But I'm going actually in the morning on Saturday because uh, I couldn't get tickets. I was slacking. Usually I go Thursday nights. But I want to go with Kate. So we're going 10.30 in the morning on Saturday. No spoilers. I'm actually, usually I spoil movies all the time. 
Like I love to know what's happening before the movie comes out, but this one I actually want to go in cold. So, uh, oh, it does come out tonight. Sorry, Pamela. I'm sorry. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm reading on the fly. So I'm like, basically I'm doing what I do to Kate's texts and it gets her so bummed out because like I skim the text and I don't necessarily see all the words. So I don't make the most informed comments on the re rebound. Forgive me. All right, so we're cruising back over here. We're gonna put them in. Then I'm gonna finish the video with a preview of this week's bonus video. All right, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time with the next animals you're gonna see because I want you guys, I want you guys to watch the bonus. But I, I have to show you a little glimmer of this. Whoa, almost walked into that. So I wanna show you guys what happened uh, this week. We got some new members of the camp, okay? So uh, new members of the camp, you'll get the full story on Sunday, okay? Um, but I think you're gonna be blown away with the beauty of these animals. Um, it's kind of a, a, a bittersweet story, the way they came to me. Their owner can no longer uh, care for them because of health reasons, but you'll have to watch on um, Sunday to understand why. But check it out. So you're going to meet Violet. This is Violet, everybody. Are you ready for... I'm going to flip the camera, okay? Here we go. This is Violet. Violet is the most insane leopard tortoise I have ever seen, right? Is that crazy? So that is Violet. Um, so bizarre, that coloration. That is actually a snow leopard. Uh, that is, that's what I would call that morph or whatever. It is just incredible. And guess what? She is actually been looking to dig and lay eggs. Now, let's go find her boyfriend. So Violet and Caro. Where's Caro? He's somewhere. You're going to be blown away by him too. Let's see. He likes to hang out under the plumeria tree. Uh, actually, this is a sapphodilla tree. Where is he? Do you see him? Does anyone see? Oh, there he is. Is that insane? Is that insane? Look at the male. Is that berserk? That is the male. So these are both the most incredible leopard tortoises I've ever seen. Yeah, pretty much ivory, Chris. Snow leopards, they're ivory. They're just gorgeous. They're a breeding pair. Um, and they're now going to be living here. And I'm not going to put them in with my leopards because these guys are going to be i'm going to be more hands-on with them they come in every night will not go out on rainy days um because they're not acclimated to florida and i don't want to take a chance on them so i just want to show you a little bit of them we're going to do a whole bonus video on them on sunday but for now i just wanted to give you a sneak peek of the two newest members of the camp kennan family there you go is that incredible guys Pretty cool. Yes, they are a bad cockeye, and we'll get to them a little bit later. Okay, so uh, there you have it, everybody. That is what's going on this week at Camp Kennan. We had some radiated eggs. We have some new tortoises. Watch the bonus video on Sunday. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, the future of Camp Kennan. We really need your guys' help to grow this channel. If you can share our videos, tell your friends who like reptiles to uh, join the Camp Kennan Army channel. Uh, join our channel, uh, subscribe. That's what we're all about. Uh, we're going to keep, um, keep on keeping on and it is going to be awesome. So thank you so much. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great lead up. If you're Jewish, I hope you're having fun there on Hanukkah. Uh, yeah, yeah. These are, I don't know. These are, I have to power wash my house. See that? Those are mud, dirt doggers. They're like wasps. Um, so there you go. That's what's happening here. Uh, this week. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging around. Um, I will be back next Thursday with another live show. Okay, so for some reason we blacked out, but this is going to be my sign-off. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you again. We had a nice 30-minute chat, and uh, I'll see you soon. Don't forget Sunday's bonus video. So long, guys. Oh, and goodbye.